There's something so satisfying about making your own homemade sauces. And the other day, to serve with duck, I made a delicious plum sauce. Now for my plum sauce, I like to use plums in juice. And this is fantastic, particularly if you wanna do this all year round. They're also picked at the optimum time, so they're super sweet. Now what I've done is just drain them from the juice and I've taken the seed out. And this is about 700 grams, including the juice. So we're going to add that to a pot that I've been preheating. And I don't wanna waste this juice because it's going to give it a lovely glossy finish. So we'll add about three to four tablespoons of the juice. And then to this, we can add some other flavours just to balance it out and give it that sweet and sour and salty flavour. Some shells in wine. For some depth of flavour, some black bean sauce. And to season this up, instead of salt, I'll add some soy sauce. To really accentuate the sweetness of the plums, some brown sugar, and I love that molasses flavour too. And because I'm serving this with some roast duck, I think the flavours of Chinese fire spice is perfectly suited for this. So a really good pinch, even two pinches in this. So we'll just grab a spoon and mix everything together. And as it comes to the boil, I'll turn it down to a medium heat. We'll pop the lid on, and this is going to cook for about 15 minutes or until the plums start to break down. Okay, the sauce is ready. Have a look at this. You can see how much the fruit has cooked down. It's thick, it's rich, it's just right. Now we'll serve this just in a small bowl next to the duck. And I've got a combination of duck breast and duck leg. This is just the most delicious sauce, served warm, or you can jar it and pop it in the fridge. You can see it makes enough for a few portions. Oh, look at that. On the side. To dress the duck, just some spring onions that I've finely sliced, and we'll just garnish that on the top. How simple is that? <laughs>